Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today it's episode number 500. I can't believe we've gotten here, but yes, we have. We've gotten to episode number 500. And I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who's been with me along the way. It's been a long journey, but we have a lot more unboxings to go. So getting to the matter at hand, Today we have an unboxing. Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have Escape from Stalingrad Z, the deluxe box. It contains full base game, complete miniature set. This was a Kickstarter that I backed a while back. It's brought to you by Raybox. And um, I saw it. I love the premise of uh, Weird World War II and zombies and all that stuff like that. And I said, you know what? I got to back this. So I went in and bought the complete box set, the deluxe box that you see in front of you. Uh, it was a little pricey, but at the same time, I really felt like uh, it was a quality game system and that I really run, wanted to back them because it's a really, really good product and I'm happy to bring it to you today. So if you look at this real quick, it's it's shaped like an ammo crate. It just says deluxe on it and it says Escape from Stalingrad Z. Again, the game is, uh, the information's right here. Created by Marco Piccata. It's for one to three players. It's Each section takes 20 to 40 minutes. And it's for ages 14 up. And of course, it's brought to you by Raybox. So again, if you look around the whole crate, it's all the same stuff. Okay. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. We are going to start with the base game, which is Escape from Stalingrad Z. So it's a heavy box, very, very heavy box. So what it says on the top corner, it says Stalingrad, winter 1942. Amid the bloodiest battle of the 20th century, the hungry dead have arisen. In a matter of days, two of the strongest armies the world has ever known are shattered, torn apart by an impartial, implacable foe. The corpse city on the Volga is cut off, occupied only by the undead and a rapidly dwindling number of living people. People who are no longer concerned about nationality or ideology, but only survival. Survival and escape. No background information here. Stalingrad, winter 1942. Amid the bloodiest, the bloodiest battle of the 20th century, the hungry dead have arisen. In a matter of days, two of the strongest armies in the world has ever known are shattered, torn apart by an impartial implacable foe. The corpse city on the Volga is cut off, occupied only by the undead and a few rapidly dwindling number of living people, no longer concerned about nationality or ideology, but only survival, survival and escape, which it said exactly the same thing on the top. Continuing on, the MG-42 rips a short burst from its window nest, skiving down ghouls in the street in front of you. A noggin cracks sharply and the bloated obscenity that used to be your medic bursts apart in a cloud of green mucus. That's a signal to go. Shoving brick rubble aside you and the big Siberian charge, PPSH and Schmeiser firing as one. Ghouls tumble, howling and reaching for you. All splinter fingers and yellow teeth. The headshot ones stay down, but you must finish the others with 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 axe and shovel, e-tool and boot. Finally, it is over. The crossroad is clear, but the sun is sinking behind the shell-packed facade of the Dizoniski tractor works. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. What will you do next? Head towards the Volga and try to escape that way? Perhaps the airfield or the rail lines are still open. Maybe heading west is the best bet. You must choose a path. Okay. Again. All your game contents are listed right here. Ooh, that's a heavy, heavy box. Okay, so let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Again, this is the core set from Escape from Scott Stalingrad Z. And it's a Kickstarter exclusive. So, got a bunch of stuff here. We're going to start with what we usually do. Gonna pull some of this stuff out real quick. And I'll get right into it. So 
we're going to start off with the rule book. It's a pretty hefty rule book. You got the table of contents. Really, really great artwork throughout the entire uh, throughout the entire rule book and throughout the entire game, actually. So again, it gives you a uh, welcome player to grim history as seen through the cracked lens of the supernatural. Escape from Stalingrad Z is a miniature solo co-op versus campaign game of tactical combat set in the horrific zombie plague of World War II. The year is 1942 in the city of Stalingrad. Your survivors are veteran soldiers fighting to stay, stab off the zombie hordes in a war-torn wasteland while finding a way to escape from the devastated city. You must work together to find the best path, each scenario giving them options on which way to go next. The player's choices will determine the fate of the heroes. The game plays out over a set of linked scenarios forming a campaign, an ongoing story. Each previous scenario in the campaign affects the start of the next. So it's just a little background information about what we're going to be seeing today. So again, the game components, the book set, the box set, what you'll need to play. You can use the standees or you can, of course, use the, uh, the tokens or you can purchase the miniatures separately. Of course, they came with the box set here. You have different troops. You have a regular elite. You have your campaign victory condition. So the victory levels are as follows. Marginal, one character survives. Significant, two characters survive. Decisive, three characters escape. Overwhelming, all four characters escape. Epic, five characters escape. Is this even possible? Your character, you get to choose whether you want to be Germans or Russians. So here's some of the characters that you can choose from. Again, the artwork here is very, very cool. Of course, you're going to talk about the character dashboards, an explanation of what goes where in there. What nicely laid out. Ready weapon, offhand, ready weapon, offhand weapons, supplies, ammo, food, med kits, gear, grenades, health, fatigue, skills, experience, unlocking skills, team control sheet. Now you got to come to the core rules. Adjacency, facing, figures, markers, action markers, status markers, covering markers, stunned, locked. Round, initiative, segment. Turn, start phase, action phase, final phase, end segment. Special actions. More great, great artwork. Movement. There's the movement table. So right off the bat, you see that you can move forward. You have, again, your facing is very, very important in this game. So if you want to turn your character, open closed doors, one spa space sideways, one space backwards, hindering terrain, switch weapons, pass gear to figure, move diagonally, move diagonally backwards or forwards, and of course, picking up something. Uh, then we got here, uh, craters, foxholes, and trenches, moving and attacking. Give you some examples of what how the movement works in the game. Combat when you're attacking, what you gotta do, resolving an attack, arc of fire, front arc, line of fire or line of sight, obviously. Range, weapon characteristics, rate of fire, asterisks, H2H stun wound values. Range modifiers, PV range, stun wound values, attack modifiers, more of them, line of fire modifiers, ranged attack modifiers. Again, explanation of what all that means and some pictures to show you what it means. When you're rolling your attack die, Attack results. So it gives the examples in yellow. Eliminated zombies. Attack types. You got normal fire. You got spread fire. Again, examples of what that means. You have grenades. Throwing grenade. 
throwing grenades without the line of sight, basically. Misses. German deviation check. Resolving a grenade blast. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Some more great artwork. Covering. Covering table. Priorities of attack. Zombies. Had to spawn them. Arc of fire. Revealing them. Activation, movement. Again, examples of that movement in picture form and explanations of the side of it. Zombies attacking. Locked characters. Zombie zone of control. Now they have different types of zombies. You have your beta, which is your basic run the mill troop. Got your armored kugel fish, and you have your alpha. You also have your alpha primes and your omega. And then they got the campaign, which is right here. Move along. What you need, the background, setup, objective, forces, spawning, things to remember, what you can find, special raids, exit, and then of course scenario rules. Start the scenario, what forces you need, the setup, spawn location, objective, secondary objective, you have your what you can find, things to remember, special rules, exiting, the zombie pool, round track. And ending entries, of course, your team. You have new characters, rear guard. Between scenarios, you have to keep an eye. Again, your same characters are with you from round one to the end of the campaign. So fatigue is going to set in. You have to make sure you consume food, medikits, scavenging, holding up for the night, and things of that nature. Continuing on, you have to do character if they die. If a character dies, they're permanently out of the campaign and may not be selected for future scenarios. Team control sheet, rescuing civilians, and there's your team control sheet. Of course, you want to make a copy of that. I don't think there's extra copies in, in the box, but we'll, well, when we are open, or keeping going, looking through it, we'll find out. You got the armory. Different types of weapons, from a satchel charge to a maxim gun on wheeled carriage. All other kinds of weapons that they have. You go into detail. Cluster grenade, a bayonet, a Molotov cocktail, mines. Scoped car at 98. Bandolier, alarm clocks, gas mask, wheeled coat, grenade vest. All kinds of stuff back here. Then co-op players or multiplayer modes. Some great artwork yet again. It really, really captures the vibe of the game. And they have an introduction video that went along with the Kickstarter, which really, really, uh, they used it to all done in the cartoon style. Uh, the artwork we just saw, it's fantastic. Versus play the Zombie Master, Zombie Control Counters, ZCC Selection, ZCC Use, Command, random event chart, character advantage, fight or flight, entries, different things that are going on throughout the game. Don't want to go too close to these because don't want to give any of the good stuff stuff away. So it appears that there's 38, 33 parts to 
this section called entry. So we could take a look at entry one just for so we get a little background of the street. In the pockets of the Alpha Zombie, you find a crumpled Soviet transcript. Read the following if your character is Soviet. Order number 227. Pack markers, cowards. The infected must be liquidated on the spot. Not one step back or without orders from higher headquarters. Commanders who abandon their position or attempt to cross the Volga without an order from higher headquarters are traitors to the motherland. And after the 33 of those, we move on to the Juggernaut. Set up forces, spawn, objective, special rules. So again, there's more awesome artwork. Okay, more about the Juggernaut, Omega, Vol, exiting. Last flight from Potomac. Forces spawn, set up objective, things to remember, what you can find between scenarios, special rules, exiting. Der Commissar, this is again for the co-op. Again, all of them are set up the same way. Not one step back, part one. Not one step back, part two. Then we talk about that super character board, what it looks like. And we're going to see some more of those in a minute. The different characters you can choose, and they have um, information of it on the back here. Which we're going to, when we look at the board, we can look at that. These are the characters you can choose from. And then they have one blank, which you can use if you create your own character. So rule-wise, there are... Rule-wise, let's see, that's the entry. So it has 47 pages of rules. Like I said, it's a pretty thick rule book. Then, of course, in the back, it has the special thanks to people who back the Kickstarter. I don't think my name's in there anywhere. Nope. So there's just there's the thanks for the people who created the game. Very, very cool. All right, so that's your rule book. It took 17 minutes to go through it. Then we have another book here. Uh, Stalingrad. Basically, a like background information about the story. It's a book that you can read independent of the of the rule book. It gives you background to everything that happened. It kind of gets you set up in the moment of uh, what the background's all about, about the characters. It's a journal. So you got uh, so it starts off at. Thursday, December 10th, 1942. So you're in the winter. Again, going through this quick, I'm not going to read this all. I'll show you some of the artwork. So it's set up exactly like a journal. Again, you got to love the artwork. And it really has the feeling of a journal, too, which is very cool. So the journal ends on to a day it ends on. So the journal will end on December 25th, 1942. So there you go. You get a journal in there also. Again, for more information about this game, and if you want to feel like picking it up, you can go to rayboxgames.com. For all information, extra scenarios, and all that stuff like that. All right, so there you go. You got that book also. Get our usual gel pack. So, I don't want to give you my address or credit card information, but there you go. So, the total, there it is. There, that's the actual receipt from Raybox Games. But what else? What else? Right, so that came along with the Kickstarter as well. I'll say Bill was attached into it. Um, let's take a look at some of these punch outs. Nice, thick, high quality. Go back in as easy as they come out. Get 
Again, easily, here's your main list of characters that you have here, right along the side here. And then you have some more here of the zombies that you could run into. Looks like a timer. Order markers, wound markers. All kinds of stuff here. Flip this over. So you, go, you don't know what you're running into, which is very cool. Okay, I'm not quite sure what this is up here. I'm not quite sure at all what that is, but we'll figure it out once we go through the rules a little bit more. To make some more punch outs. Crates. Satchel charges, numbers, fire, all kinds of things you can find. Some keys. Flip it over. Yep. Again, that's cool that everything has a question mark so you don't know exactly what you're finding. Now you're searching some dead bodies. Breaking the crates open. Very cool. Alright, that's another sheet. Then we have, if you didn't purchase, the, if you don't purchase the figures, you have the standees, as I said. So here are your characters. Lydia, Till, Riser, Steiner, Dasha, Algier, Becker, Caddy, Usha. Those are the ones you could choose from. And then, of course, you have all your zombie characters that are in here. And your weapons that you can get. So I got it upside down. From clubs to rifles, machine guns, all kinds of stuff that you can find on the battlefields. And different crates, and again, there's your zombies, the armor, the betas, the cubo fish, the betas, more betas. Okay. Tank Eastica, Alpha, Omega, Grinzer. There you go. Again, these are weapon tokens, obviously. And the front, the back, you just see the back. And so again, your, the way you have your, your characters placed in this game is very, very important. And we got some more cardboard coming out. And these are the weapons that you can find and arm yourself with. So you got lots of those. Lugers, some kinds of machine guns, a hammer, some Molotov cocktails, clubs, axes. You got some food when the beats, you got ammunition, first aid kits, get ammunition again, and then you got a bunch of grenades at the bottom. These remind me of the of like your old school military games that you would play, like uh, ones that came in a box. Uh, I can't think of the name of the, uh, the game company right now. Prospero Hall. Could be, but they used to have box sets and used to have like this. It'll come through what the name of the game was. Okay, so that. There's your cardboard. Then we have some game specific dice here. I believe these are D12s. Yep. So you get two D12s. Blood specs on them. I like that. Cool attention to detail. And you got a D12 here too. So you got two white and a black. Again, it, when you read the rule book, it'll tell you more what when you use the dice in the game. Okay, that comes in it. You also have player boards. Um, before we get to the player boards, let's take care of the smaller stuff first. You've got some of these small dice too.
So it looks like you've got a Russian symbol, a lock, a zero, a four, a sight on it, a two. There you go. And you got, yep, they're all the same. So you got four mini dice like that too. So you see this, the dice are much smaller in size in comparison. Yep, you get four of those. Two different type of of course you get your stands for your standees so it's easy enough so you know, I'll pull one out they're clear which is cool means you can see the ground and there you have it okay and you got a bag folder in. Then you have some cubes, some wooden cubes in different colors from red, green, blue, black. Yep. And it looks like they're six sided. Yep. Red doesn't pop too well, so I'll show you the green one instead, and that's what it looks like. But you get a bunch of those as well. Okay. You get a bag full of those. You have your game board. Each character has their own game board. And again, if you make a photocopy, you can create your own character as well in the game. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters to choose from, four Russian and four German. So let's just take a look at this one real quick. So you've got a health meter, you got a fatigue meter, bonuses and things that get taken away as you become more and more fatigued and more wounded. You get pluses to actions here and you get minuses of one wound one wound down here again that's your fatigue your health you have your gear slots your, that's the weapon they, they, they start off with a club obviously and the ready hand nothing in their off hand they get supplies you can have up to three supplies medical food and and some ammunition you have six grenades i guess to start off with you can carry up to four things you have one, two, three, four, four health. Uh, it gives you the person's name. He's a Siberian assault trooper. Back is all kinds of information about the characters. There's a character named Alger. Then tells you the skills that he has. Preferred weapon, scavenger, and swift stride. So there's the extra skills that they have. That's one of the boards. Then you also have Dasha, another Shoei troop. Again, board set up exactly the same way. You have Katyushka, Usha, sorry, partisan. Back information, preferred weapon. Ready weapon is a club. Again, when you pop those out, they should fit right perfectly into these slots here. Gets plus two with that there. And again, skills, preferred weapon, tactics, and tough as nails. There are special skills that they have. So that's another one. And our last Soviet troop would be the medic, which is Lydia. Preferred weapon is a spear. All right. Skills, again, fatigue, health, all of it's exactly the same. She starts off the club. All right. So that's your four Russian troops that you get. And now we go to the four German soldiers. The Commandant, which is Becker. Again, there's their skills. Again, everything is set up exactly the same.
with the EEL Pioneer Isle. Exactly sure how to pronounce that name. Oh, Till. Oh, yeah, it's a T, not an I. Till. Okay. There you go. Steiner. Feld Wibble. Preferred weapons. Again, okay, gives you a little bit more again about him. Last but not least, you have Riser. Unter Officer. Okay. Okay, there you have that. So this is your player boards. You also get this pretty fantastic book as well. Again, because you same picture as that is on the back of the box. But when you open this up, you have some extra baggies to all your put all your tokens in. Look at this real quick. So you get your reference guide, which is right here. You can stand up, which is cool while you're playing the game. So it's everything there. We can do it around in your turn, the start phase, the action phase, the final phase, end segment. Rate of fire it tells you what's on everything. Again, modifiers, attack modifiers, movement table, basic zombies, alpha zombies, and your alpha omega. Looking at the arc of fires, very important, grenade deviation chart, and your armory of all the different weapons you can have. So that's cool. That's also, something that's very, very cool to have. And this is the most important thing in the game, other than the rules, is your scenario book. And if you look at it, okay, it gives you some information there. And this is your first... And so based on how you do on this, then at the exit, it tells you where you can go. Proceed to scenario number three. You have a zombie pool here, which you can find things during responding forces, set up an objective, gives you a background. So let's see what the background says. So this is where we start off. It says first the terrifying sound and then the shock wave. Artillery shells rocket overhead, buildings behind you collapse in clouds of dust, reeking of pulverized concrete. Your comrades and equipment have all been lost as you fled the heavy bombardment. The barrage remorselessly creeps closer. With no choice, you push onwards as the guttural moans of the encroaching dead echo off the shattered ruins. Gather your wits and steel. Your nerve soldier, move out. So I'll tell you also who you get in the first forces. Characters one, your character starts with no weapons or gear. And there's four zombies in the area. So there you go. You start off. You have your round tracking. The letters tell you where everything goes. And there's your actual map that you're playing on. So, just to show you that real quick, I don't happen to have one here, but let's just say this is one of your soldiers. That's what it would look like as you're playing the game. As he's moving through the board. Just use another character here, just so you get the size reference on the board. So again, it looks very, very cool, okay? Neither one of these characters or creatures, this character or this creature, are available, obviously, in this box set. They are being used for demonstration purposes only, because I haven't shown you the min miniatures yet. If I showed you the miniatures, I would have put them on the board, but again, this is a hero click, and this is a Dungeon and Dragons character, and they are not included in this box set. So again, when you look at your scenario book, they're all set up the same way, and your choice to let you know where you want to go next. So there's the first scenario, another scenario, a friend will bleed, then up. Wake up, time to die, stash, move along, the fountain, 
the street. The Grinzer. Blocking detachment. Holding up. Devil's Garden. Fire and Ice. Some of the pages are getting stuck together, but that's okay. As long as they don't rip, that's the most important thing. Okay, so that's scavenging. There you go. Matia Volga. Ooh, this one might be a couple pages. Look at that. But again, as you look at these maps that they're giving you, Highly detailed. Maps. Shopping trip. The lair. A quiet home. Ura. Bad how bad baddy house live trials checkpoint Caesar again this one seems to have be three paged map holding up two scavenging part two sewer rats The light above, dirty deeds, done dirt cheap, T-34, that's the tank, Russian tank, anti-aircraft gun, all right, there you go, red barricades, Kalinka, Fewer two five one Russian, I mean German uh, half track. End of the road. German truck. Oop. The bunker. Night terrors. I'm actually really looking forward to starting this. The seller and the cool thing about this again I, this is definitely not a game you're just going to start picking up and start playing it's something that you have to read through and go through a scenario before you really get the gist of how to play this so again as you guys know i, I have two young ch children i have one who's eight not so young anymore but you had chip one who's eight years old another one just turned 13 and the reality is if i want to play this with them i really want to have the rules down solid so i want to do the introduction uh, the first um uh, scenario by myself to have a really good feel for it and then go along work with them and try to get through this thing again another one with three pages of maps the artwork's beautiful the the books are all beautiful they really put a lot of work into this einzel haft is another scenario then lily marlene Diabruka, bait and switch, enemy at the gate, Vasily, angels of Stalingrad, diamonds in the rough, so as you can tell, a lot of scenarios, boiling point, Nishevo, another three-parter, this time it's at a railway station. And that's the last one. Got a little bend there, but it's okay. And that's the back. So that's your scenario book. So this is everything that's included in the core box set. Now, 
again, as you know, I purchased the deluxe box, which also has figures, which were included as well. That came in. I'm not even going to attempt to read that. So I'll see in Russian. Again, this is part of the deluxe. Again, if you buy just a core game, it does not come with these figures. You can buy additional box, uh, buy additional sets. I also purchased those too, but I, I'm going to I'll show you them. So this is this is included in the deluxe box set, but you can also purchase uh, figure sets as well. This is two of the figure sets, which I'm going to do another unboxing for them, so I'm not going to show you them. And then they have so a total. Of, four boxes that they have. You get your hero characters, your beta zombies, your advanced zombies, and you have your boss zombies. These are the four boxes that you can get of figures. Um, so sometimes more is more. So okay, so here you have it. So I'm gonna crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have inside this box as well. So this is the deluxe which has all the figures which of the all the figures. You also have an additional board here of Warda, another character you can play. Okay, same as the others. So it's exactly the same. Skills, fatigue, health, your grenades, your club, your ready weapon, your offhand, the supplies you can carry, and the gear that you can carry. There you have that one. Then again, it gives you a little background information about the game. these out so you can take a look at it so these are your great detail 28 or 28 to 32 millimeter so I'm just going to show you size comparison real quick that's your hero click so scale size as you can tell the hero clicks a little beefier but you can tell they're pretty much the same size. Okay. So there you go. So it's a good true 28 millimeter. So that's one of your main characters. Again, have a little trouble with the camera here focusing. There you go. There's another one. There's another one of your main characters. Another main character. I'm trying to get them to focus a little better for you. There you go. So these are all individual sculpts, as you can tell. I know it's hard to get it to focus. They're not, it's not, the camera's not doing that great of a job focusing right now. But there you go. That's the Russian medic who loves the spear. This should be your eight main characters. Here's your typical German in his long coat. There he is. So that's your eight main characters. And then you have, make sure I get this, you get four of these guys. These are your zombies. Four of those. Four, five, six. You get a bunch of these. You get one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yep, get five German zombies that look like this. So you get four with the cape. Four. Look like that. You get this giant running guy. I'm not sure who that is. Must be some kind of super soldier, I'm assuming. Not sure exactly. Can't make it out real well, but he's got a really cool face mask on. But he's much bigger, taller than the rest. You get one of him. Then you also get the one of the commandants. This is the Omega. So he's really, really stands tall compared to the rest of them, as you can tell, height-wise. Your heroes. So he's the Uber's really, really big compared to the rest. So there they are. And you get two riflemen. Two of these guys. You get two of these guys. You get, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry about that. You have four of those guys. You get four of them. You get three. So you get four of these guys. You get four of them. I'm trying to see if there's something I could use to stop the camera from going too crazy. Oh, there you go. That works. really good actually so you can keep that up there and here's another one of sculpts I guess I was it's having trouble because I was focusing in on all the other stuff with it. there's your uh, your alpha or your omega you should say this is that runner guy I was talking to you about Okay, so I showed you those guys. That's another guy. And this guy here. The rifleman. Got a walking guy, like a gas mask on. And then you got this guy with the... Uh, Code on. Looks like he's a uh, Russian. Okay, I'll show you the good guy, uh, the characters you can play again. Okay, so there's one here. Again, they're high quality sculpts. Shovel, you have a shovel on right hand. Yeah, it's got a ready weapon and his off hand. So there you go. All right. 
that's the first picture that's in the, it's in the uh, rule book is this guy here with his axe. That's cool. That's a cool figure. Uh, another one of the Russian troops. Okay. Another one of the Russians. Nope, that's the German commandant. And this guy here. Okay. You also see that you haven't something you haven't seen yet, which is the Yep, I showed you one of the heavy set guys. All right, then we got one of the uh, bomber guys, the armored guys, I should say. So you have one, two, three, four of them in the box. And I'll show you the box in the end. So you, get, you see them again, how many you get in there. And then you get, oh, there's another armored guy. That's another armor guy. Actually, you get five armored guys. Yep, five armored guys. All right, five. Yep, nope, nope. You get four. You get four of them. And again, I showed you this guy where you get five of these guys. With gas masks. So again, there you have this here. Let me show you the box again real quick. There's the extra rifle guy I've mentioned. This is that guy there, which I showed you already. These are the extra ones, the armored guys, guys with gas masks. Up here, that's the guys with the, the guy with the trench, uh, the, the poncho on, and there's them. And they have one guy over here still. That's He's the same as these guys over here. I'm not sure I showed you. I, I know, I think I showed you him already, but I'm just going to put him up. Yep, that's the gas mask guy. So, everything you see here everything that's included in this extra game board here all this is included and, and, and it also Everything that's included in this unboxing of Escape from Z Stalingrad Z Deluxe Box contains full base game, complete miniature, and the complete miniature set. Brought to you by Raybox game, by Raybox again. And I want to say once again, this was our 500th episode, so I really want to say thank you to you all. I know it was a long one, almost an hour in length, but again, there was a lot of stuff that was included in this Kickstarter. Again, for more information about this game, you can go to, uh, where did I do with that information? Do this raybox.com? No. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the bottom for you so I can get you the exact um, information again. If you want to order this again, I believe they are doing some of these um, I forget what it's called, but they're doing the, uh, uh, if you didn't order it on time, you can still order it from directly from Raybox. So if you just put in Escape from Stalingrad Z, all the information will pop up. If you can put, go into Google, do a Google search, it will definitely pop up on Raybox games. Again, it's for one to three players, 20 to 40 minutes to play each scenario, and it's for four ages 14 and up, brought to you by Marco Picata. Again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It was, it was a great one. Again, a little bit long, but thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always give us a thumbs up and always uh, leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release any new content. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.